had six teams, each making an individual contribution for this home. Everything from outdoor lighting to specialized vanity lighting, under cabinet lighting. She liked the idea of lights under the cabinet, And right? she liked it well lit. Got it. She liked it well lit. So I don't know, maybe we could consider lights inside the cabinet because she said she wanted it well lit and bright lights under the cabinets. Okay, good. What's her favorite light color? She said favorite? it was the soft white, the yellow. <laughs> okay. Both of them. And she really likes the energy efficiency of the daylight. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So maybe that's a question for Bruce and Candace. Okay. Okay. You can I'm ask your engineers what works well with under cabinet lighting. Okay. Daylight light is six thousand five hundred Kelvin, and that has a more bluish look to it rather than orange. If you do the round ones, they're great, but you, the, that light may cause interference okay. if you're downstairs. They might kind of shine towards you. Okay. okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. I think the key thing about Pretty Brilliant is that they have to really think about their client because they're designing this design for an actual family. So they get excited about engineering because they're doing this designing and this creative aspect and that they're the ones cutting out things, finding things, putting them together and the mentors are there to help guide them and to help with the skills aspect. They don't have to figure out the, like, where the power place is. For most of yours, you plug right into it so you don't have to worry about it, like an extra power supply. Okay. Um, group, like, I don't know, maybe like in the hallway of fixtures there might be something you need to have for an interior fixture. You guys are missing a key component in here, though. Uh, the mentors are amazing. The door? Yeah. It definitely builds confidence to be here because me, myself, in school, I'm normally the person who doesn't say very much. Here, it's just everybody's on the same level. Everybody knows the same stuff, basically. And it's just really nice to have this confidence of, oh, I can say this and they won't judge me because of this. Anything you say will help add on to the common goal. If we do ma mess up, I mean, we'll just backtrack and go back and think, okay, so this is where we screwed up and this is how we can fix it. And the end goal is to be able to help our client while gaining knowledge for ourselves. Everybody, like there are little groups that will work on something and then it all comes together as one huge, amazing, productive thing that we all do together. And it's yeah. really fun. Parents really want me to be an engineer, and I'm like, no. But this was actually really fun, because I guess I had like a misconception on what engineering was. And so now I kind of like engineering. Well, you make new friends, and then you get to like build a bunch of cool stuff. Like the soldering thing, we handed them this kit, and they were like, am I doing it right? Is this OK? Like, I'm not sure. And then by the end of it, they're going faster than the mentors, our engineering people are going, and they finish first. But these are real skills, life skills that these girls are learning and they're getting excited about. We're creating a learning environment where girls can come together in a space that values them as thinkers, problem solvers, innovators, that respect their value on relationships, that respect their value of making and design and their interest in entrepreneurship. Neuroscience shows relationships are a number one concern for adolescent girls. They wanna be liked, they want to have friends. But if having friends and being liked means that they can't exhibit their intellectualism, that they can't show off their smarts, they're gonna drive it underground. How sad is that? So when they come to a Pretty Brainy workshop, all of those negative things are out the door. We let them be them. It's safe to show up as your feminine self. It's safe to put on your spangly nail polish and solder, you know? It's safe to put on eyeliner and come build a circuit. Whoever you are, whatever you are, it's safe to be that. They can put them all together and be pretty, if that's what they want, and be pretty brainy. The whole thing for the whole girl. And this is where we are so grateful for the partnership 
that environmental lights first brought to us and our, our partnership also with the Otter Cares Foundation in making possible Pretty Brilliant. And now a third phase is to put it into a written curriculum that we can deliver to other educators nationwide so that they too can work with students to make possible safer, more energy efficient homes through Habitat for Humanity. The Pretty Brainy vision is to empower two million girls by 2025 to have developed their STEAM ideas and abilities so they can make a positive impact in their own communities and for the world. That's our vision. As one 14 year old said, the more people we can reach, the more lives we can change. And when we observe from week to week their engagement with their teams and um, seeing the joy that they have, that's what makes my heart sing.